on this computer. All right, everybody. Uh, let me know if you end up not being able to hear me, but uh, we are going to try our first Zoom Kung Fu session. Uh, this will be an abbreviated session, but all of our classes are now going to move from an hour and a half to about 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, I'm going to try my best to stay well in the screen and to repeat things lots of times. Um, I am going to encourage people, if you're watching this post session or going forward, to just do some stretching and some warming up beforehand. Obviously, since we're on a Zoom session, we don't want to spend as much time on stretching and warm-ups as we normally would do in an in-person class. So again, I'll encourage you to do some of that on your own, but we will do some of that today. So let's start out. We're going to bow in, so your feet are going to be together. You're going to take your right hand, make a fist, take your left hand, open it, press them together, and bow. Excellent. All right, so starting out, we're just going to do some shoulder rolls. Just begin shoulder rolling forward. Excellent. And I will apologize because we probably will get a lot of traffic sounds. Roll your shoulders back. And periodically some sirens since my house is near the VA hospital. Uh, so when that happens, I just apologize. Um, I do have everybody on mute, but if you have questions, hands on waist, back and forth, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask those questions. Uh, great. And then we're going to take those side to side. Again, just side to side. Great. And we're going to loosen up the hips. So just circle the hips around. Excellent. And circle them the other way. Again, just trying to get the body moving a little bit. Take your feet, put them together, bend your knees, hands on knees, rotate. You're gonna rotate both the knees and the ankles. Bring it the other way. Great, coming back. We're gonna reach up our hands as high as we can. Force your shoulders down. You don't want your shoulders to come up and pinch your neck, force your shoulders down. Reaching up high, high, high. Good, and swan dive down. That means bring your arms back and down. I don't know about you, but I haven't stretched all summer pretty much. <laughs> uh, so don't worry if you can't get far down right now. This is all about slowly making progress. Bend the knees, flat hands, and straighten your knees as much as you can while keeping your hands flat on the ground. Good, bend knees again. Relax your hands, straighten the knees, and just hang. Good, come up, excellent. You're gonna just step out a little bit and stretch that forward, stretch that forward. Keep the hips forward. Good, and then you're gonna drop that knee, all right? As you drop that knee, you're just gonna press forward, whoops, and take the knee off the ground. So you'll see there's a little bit of space between my knee and the ground. It's not flat on the ground, it's lifted. Just push forward. You should feel the stretch in that front hip flexor. Go ahead and turn that the other way. So we're going to be here. We're going to stretch it out this way. So turning the other way. Good. And drop that knee. Put the Top of your foot flat and stretch forward. Now remember, lift that knee off the ground so it's not flat on the knee or flat on the ground. It is up. There you go. And again, you should be feeling that stretch in the front of the hip flexor. Good. Come up. Shake those legs out a little bit. Shake them out. 
let's see if we have enough room for a front split. You don't have to go all the way down, just go down as until you feel a nice stretch. So you'll see there's still quite a bit of distance before I go all the way down, but that's okay. I'm just trying to get a bit of a stretch. If you can, you're now gonna rotate to the front. Good, good job everybody. And now you're gonna just rotate around to the other side. Good, and you're gonna rotate back to the front one last time. Good, and walk your feet in a little bit, come up. One last hamstring stretch. Bring your arms up, swan dive down, just for that hamstring sweat stretch. Good, come up, shake those legs out. Great, great. We're gonna jump into a short warm up. So we're at 109 right now. Uh, so we're gonna just gonna jump into a really, really short warm up. I'm hoping that I don't end up shaking the camera too much. Um, so we're gonna do mountain climbers. Just as a reminder, mountain climbers. Uh, you come down almost into a push up position, but one leg is up, one leg is down. You then switch that leg, all right? So everybody come down, we'll go one, two, three. We'll pause briefly and then we'll go one, two, three. All right, ready and one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, one, or two, sorry. <laughs> All right, right from there, you're gonna go into a push-up position we're gonna do two sets of 20 push-ups. Just do your best. If you feel like you need to rest, try going to your knees first before you stop doing push-ups. Go to your knees and do the push-ups from your knees. If you still feel like you need to rest, just hold yourself in a plank position. What that means is you'll hold yourself here and just hold yourself until you feel like you're ready to go again. All right, two sets of 20. I will count them out. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Rest. Excellent. I'm gonna just change the angle on that for you guys watching from home, which is everybody. Ready, two more, one more set of 20, and one, two, three, one, oh, whoops, one, uh, sorry, four, I can't count, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, two. Excellent. Up on your feet. Last warm up. We're going to do squats. So you'll squat low, come up. All right. You'll squat low, 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 come up. Ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two. Shake that out. Great. So warm up and stretching took us less than 15 minutes. Um, we'll hopefully be able to add a little bit more going forward, but we are going to jump. We're going to jump right into things. All right. So we're going to work some kicks first. So what I want you to do, take your feet about shoulder width apart. You're going to turn your left foot in slightly, bring your right foot back, bend both legs. This is your guard stance or fighting stance. We can also do it on the other side. You can turn the right foot in, slight angle, bring that foot back, not far back, just back a little bit, bend the knees. This allows you to pivot and shift nicely. Whether you're doing lead kicks or rear kicks. So again, bring that, turn that left foot in, bring the right foot back. Both feet are pointing at an angle this way. Relax those knees, bring the hands up. Lead hand between the top of the head and the cheekbone or nose. Rear hand between the eye and the top of the chin or the mouth, okay? Keep those hands up. Elbows are not out. You're not, a, you're not flying. Elbows are in. We're gonna turn that lead foot. Round kick for one. Bring it back. Round kick for two. Whoops, bring it back. Round kick for three. Bring it back. Round kick for four. Bring it back. Five. Good. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. And one. We're then going to take this lead foot. We're going to turn the rear leg out and we're going to kick. Turn that rear foot back. So it turns out from this angle to this angle, providing you a nice solid base for that kick before it snaps out. Ready? And turn the foot out. One. Turn the foot out. Two. Turn the foot out. Three. Turn the foot out. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Make sure that foot is turning back. Turn it out. One. Good. Right from this position still. Lead foot, we're going to pivot back. We're going to just shift our weight backwards. All right? So you'll note I'm here. I just shift my weight backwards, push my heel out. Shift my weight backwards, push my heel out, and bring it back down. All right? So here, I'll keep it at this angle. Whoops. There we go. Shift back and push kick. That's one. Shift back, push kick. Two. Shift back, three. No, when I shift back, I'm not shifting my shoulders past my heel. I'm keeping my shoulders up so that when I kick out, I still have this solid base. You'll know it's, it's good to have a nice bend in that stabilizing leg. Why? 
because that's going to allow me to pivot better than this. All right, so we were on three. Ready, hands are up. Four, whoops. <laughs> Five. Lean back. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One. Excellent. Now we're going to use the rear leg for that same push kick. We're going to turn. This lead foot is going to turn out. Turns out, knee comes up, pushes out, comes in, down and back. Toe turns out, knee comes up, pushes out, down and back, in, down and back. Ready, and turn it out, one. Turn it out, two. Turn it out, three. Turn it out, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One. Good. We are going to switch our feet now. So, again, from here, turn the right foot in, bring the left foot back, relax that stance so that there's a bend in both. We're going to start, <laughs> we're going to start with that rear leg round kick. So that foot turns out, knee comes up, foot turns out, knee comes up, leg snaps out. Ready, and one, two, whoops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Good. Just like last time, we're going to do the lead leg round kick now. So that rear foot turns out, it goes from this angle to this angle. So I have that base from which to kick while maintaining my balance. So again, foot turns out, knee comes up, round kick. Ready, and turn the foot out, one. Turn the foot out, two. Turn the foot out, three. And this is a lead leg round kick. Four. Five. Remember, between the eye and the mouth, or top of the chin, between the forehead and the nose, or the cheekbone. Ready. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One. Good, we're gonna do that lead leg push kick now. The lead leg push kick, with, which punches from the heel. So again, we're gonna just shift back, keeping a bend in that knee, and push out, and bring it back down. And then bring the weight back center. Again, don't bring the shoulders back behind the heel. You can see it here. You don't want this, you want to be here, Kick, come back down so that your weight is on that leg. All right, ready? And come back, push. Good, come back, push. Come back, push. Come back, push. That's five, four. Let's say this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Good. We're going to do the rear leg now. So what happens? Lead foot turns out. As the lead foot turns out, we shift our hands. I'm here. Shift here. You can see it better here. Here. Shift here. Why? Because I'm essentially moving forward. I want to maintain a block before I kick. All right. Maintain a block before I kick. And then my hands will shift. So again, between the forehead and the nose, between the eye and the chin, right here. All right, ready, set yourself. Turn that lead foot out, kick, bring it back, that's one. Lead foot out, two. Lead foot out, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, one. Good, nice, 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 nice. All right, let's just switch to some basic strikes um, because kicking is not everything. And also once somebody comes into your space, you need to be able to strike. So we're gonna shift from here. We're gonna be in that left guard stance. All right, left guard stance. This is gonna allow you to quickly throw out as somebody comes up, throw out that lead leg round kick to the outside of their knee or the inside of their knee, depending. Or you can catch that on the thigh, or you can use that same principle for a quick groin strike, but you'll see the shift coming up the middle. So you can either tap outside, inside, or up the middle. All right, let's actually just do that first really quickly. Just picture your opponent. Whoops, just picture your opponent. We're coming to the outside of the knee. We're coming to the inside of the knee. We're coming straight up to the groin. All right, let's try that again. Outside of the knee. Inside of the knee. Up straight to the groin. And we'll come one, two, three. One more time. One, reset, two, reset, three. Good, switch it. So again, you can come to the outside, come to the inside, shift your weight, come straight up the center. All right, so we kick to the outside, kick to the outside. Good, kick to the inside. Good, straight up the center. Let's count it out. Kick to the outside, kick to the inside, straight up the center, that's one. Kick to the outside, inside, up the center, outside, inside, up the center. That's three. Outside, inside, up is four. One, two, whoops, three. One, two, three. That's six, whoops, get back into your guard stance. Outside. Inside, up the center. Outside, inside, up the center. That's eight, outside. Inside, up the center, that's nine. Last one, outside, inside, up the center. That's 10, good job, good job everybody, yay. All right, coming back to our left guard stance. So again, whoops, I keep, creeping up on the camera. We're gonna be feet shoulder width apart just about, relaxed, turn the one foot in, bring the foot back, all right? I'm gonna move up so that you can better see my hands, all right? So we're gonna be here, we're gonna sh shoot. We're actually gonna shoot a straight one first, rear, all right? So straight pun punch, rear cross. Um, so in boxing, it's a cross because this is crossing your center line. We're gonna turn. When we turn into that, we're just gonna do a slight pivot with that back foot, all right? Just a slight pivot. Now that's more of a Western style boxing approach or even an MMA approach. And it's a way to engage your hip because a lot of people won't engage this way enough, just turning the waist. So if you throw in that pivot, it allows you to throw in a little bit more of your waist and follow through. The only issue is that is that you're highly committed to that attack and you need to have some good follow-ups from there. So that could be anything from an elbow to a grab or an uppercut and a knee. All right. So we're here. We're gonna come one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, that's Three, one, four, one, five, whoops, one, six, one, seven, one, eight, one, nine, one, one. Switch your feet, which means switching your guard. So this is forehead to nose, eye 
or I'm sorry, nose, nose to chin. All right, we're gonna come one, two. Ah, my hand. One, two. One, two, that's three. One, four. One, five. One, six. One, seven. One, eight. One, nine. One, one. Good, let's do a follow-up now with this because as I said, we're committed. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw one, two. We're then going to grab around the head and just throw a knee, all right? Around the head and throw a knee. So that hooks this way. One, two, grab. Whoops, grab, knee, all right? Ready? One, two, hook, knee. 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 One, two, grab, knee. One, two, grab, knee. Oh. One, two, grab, knee. One, two, grab, knee. Two more. One, two, grab, knee. One, two, grab, knee. Let's switch sides. We're here. We're gonna strike one, two, grab, knee. We're gonna strike one, two, grab, knee. Ready. One, two, grab, knee. Shift back. One, two, grab, knee. 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 All right, two more. One, two, one, two, one, two. Good, now we have to have the other side, right? So we're gonna have, where is it? One, two, uppercut, all right? It's just gonna come one, two, uppercut. So you're tight in, all right? You're tight in one, sorry, lies, lies in the seat. Lead leg, lead arm first. One, two, drive this, whoops, drive this up. The body turns, so look, we're here. One, two, uppercut. I'm gonna shift my hip into this. So again, from this side, one, two, uppercut. I'm gonna shift, all right? Ready, lead, rear, uppercut. Whoops, lead, rear, uppercut. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, tight. Close to you, close to you, close to you. Ready, one, two, three. 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 Switch sides. Good, lead arm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoa. One, two, three, right? Yes, there we go. One, two, three. 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 One, two, bring that up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, up. Lead, rear, uppercut. 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 One, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Let's bring it back to three. Last couple. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Good job. So, I know we focused a lot on kicks and strikes today, but I thought it was a great way to get kind of our blood circulating and kind of move back into some Kung Fu. Even though there are some Western techniques in here, um, striking is pretty similar across most of the disciplines. So it's worthwhile for us to practice them, especially because a lot of the Kung Fu movements that we practice, especially in Northern Shell and Long Fist, are all about keeping someone far out so they're bigger motions. And we wanna also balance that out by having some more up close and personal disciplines. We do that through some of our seven star mantis work as well. However, that can be a little bit harder for people to work on uh, in terms of the hand motions and the covers and everything. So having, again, some simple direct techniques kind of balances everything out for you and gives you some more things to work on. And those are all things that you can work on on your own. So we will meet again on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and that is Tuesday, September something. <laughs> I want to say September 9th, I think. I'm not sure. Or 8th. Um, but anyways, everybody have a happy Labor Day weekend. We'll get ready to bow out. So um, you're going to bring, uh, sorry, feet are, feet are uh, apart. <laughs> We're going to be here. Right hand is down. Left hand is on top of it. You're going to bring that left leg in. Touch here. Right hand becomes a fist. Left hand is open. And we'll bow. Shay Shay. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. It was a great, great time. I hope you guys liked it. We'll get this up on YouTube very soon. And uh, if you have any questions, just email us. You can reach us at kungfuofficers at case.edu. Or check us out on Facebook, uh, Case Kung Fu. All right. Bye.